Master Cadgar. <laughs> All right, we'll see, chat. We'll see if it's a good card here. See, uh... The birthday stream. I thought your birthday was yesterday. <laughs> somebody, somebody with these pesky little details, like the date, all right? <laughs> Uh, Fire Arcane Shadow. This is brutal, actually. <laughs> Wait, shit. I'm gonna get uh, Nature Fell. Brutal. I might just go Molten uh, on Curve. You get through their armor. I feel like I have to spend my mana on things. I just can't just hold forever. Okay, we got another discovery, so, but. Also, could get us spells. Shadow. Holy. Okay, this is actually not terrible. Um, Cause it's like right before their stiff turns, right? Are there Odin turns? I'm not gonna lie, this dark alley pack is gonna be kinda nutty, dude. Mage <laughs> is the problem. Do you feel any guilt being a true mage? <laughs> uh, like, like I, as a true mage, I master all the magic, right? I'm not... Much like a true Hearthstone player will master all styles, except for combo, all right? Let's go, dude. Zero twos, dude. Ever yet? Okay, I'm... Uh, uh, but also, like, the meta is probably warped around it. I mean, we haven't been queuing any Demon Hunter today, surprisingly. Right, I could get like two sifts with this, right? Or I could just play it this turn and get like one sift. I don't really need two sifts, right? Uh, I guess I take Arcane Artificer. Are they ever gonna play a minion for me to like mess with here? Ooh, that is a good minion chat. That is a that is a hell of a dragon, dude. Monster Hunter thing for the 12 months. Yeah, that's a training too much the Monster Hunter.
Yeah, I mean, I really wanted to play. I, what I want to do is play Sleets Caker and gain like 80 life. That's what I really want to do, but. Dude, I'm gonna have so much armor, dude. I don't even know how they kill me, dude. I guess they have giant weapon. Do I run Viper in this deck? I do not. Yeah, dude. I know in the streamer world, there's Fino, Osmo, me, and Cantaloupe. There might be somebody else, too. Uh, that's like, it's like four big streamers, all who have a birthday this time. Bruh, where is my, um... Do I ever use this? Like, I don't have Sif. I kind of need value. Ooh, nature. That's good. Ooh. Okay, the magic wisdom ball, not gonna lie, has been like... Done like 80,000 damage to their face, dude. It's like been a lot. There he is. How afraid am I of dying this turn? I have a lot of life, right? I have a lot of life, but I could just frostbolt their face. Um, okay. Now I have two frostbolts at the face, so. I feel like they're not gonna have lethal here. I have so much life. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see. I have so much life, and they still have 13 cards left in their deck, so... Let's see. Now I can just freeze their face like 80 turns in a row, dude. It is kind of very helpful. I got a board generator. Um, and uh, I got another Frostbolt. <laughs> like, it's very helpful. I agree. Uh, so what exactly? Uh, I want to freeze this jerkwad, but like I also don't want to take the eight from these minions. I'm kind of in a tough predicament here. Um, I guess I can like. 
Just assume they're not gonna have lethal again. I think that's the best play. Actually, let's just um ping. Maybe <laughs> his last words, yeah, 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 I don't know. What, the, what they should do to improve the algorithm Get is afterwards, Come okay, on. what you do is you should have to fill a survey after you play Khadgar every game saying like, did you did you find the, the Khadgar spells helpful, yes or no? And then they do machine learning to find when people rate the Khadgar spells the most helpful. I think this would be a fantastic strategy, just saying. Own minion? Oh, I did not see that. Isn't that not supposed to happen, Dad? <laughs> Had a lucid minion. Oh, that's funny, dude. Oh, they got a really bad weapon. That's why they've been doing these plays. I might have to take Arcane Intellect off this jerk wad. What's wrong with my order? Oh, I know. I I wanted to. I, I had to go the Nature one last because I wanted to get a big board there. So it just it just um it just didn't work out. Like that's not that's not a wrong order, chat. Um, that's that's. Chat, that's chat, dude, dude. Chat's a bunch of like 2020 hindsighters, right? Like that's not how order works, right? Wait, another light show? Oh, that's insane, right?
I'm like this close to just winning without Sim, dude. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Don't put it on us. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Five memes, yeah, dude. We have like a 16 vat burst without sift next turn. Hard red cobalt. Is Gengar a good craft for this deck? Uh, apparently, yes. The stats say overwhelmingly so. Uh, I I don't know if I trust him though, dude. Like, I just don't know if I trust the guy, all right? Um, it's 10. That's... Delete them. <laughs> the hooker is not arrived in. Uh, I did. I did. I. 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 She's dude. Dude, she just said, "Hey, I'm ZVD's mom, dude." <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> dude, I just do the same joke every day. <laughs> she followed the script, dude. I was into it. <laughs> you asked for it. Oh, it is on. <laughs> oh, dude. Happy birthday. Thank you, dude. Dude, I'm going to freeze his face on two here. Need my discovery magic not to blow like it did last game. Ooh, actually we can just go uh, glyph now. Ooh, two mana volume up is good. To be honest, I'd probably go discovery into volume up. It's too good for turn three. Drawing that many cards. Thank you, Inferno. Bro. <laughs> dude, Love Everlasting? Oh, it's so illegal, dude. It's just so freaking illegal, dude. I don't know if you know, but you're kind of breaking the law. Wait, Chad, if I reverb this, I don't get like I don't get it, right? I don't get the, I don't get the spell discount, I don't think. It's not Oh, you get the start of it. I thought it was like a start of turn effect. Happy birthday, thank you. Why don't you run Love Everlasting in your deck? Um yeah, I don't know. Mage deck or wheel lock? Dude, wheel is like Wheel is the new special sauce, but it just happens to be bad against the best deck in the game right now. So you can, you know, if you can just like emotionally handle demon hunters running over you, wheel lock's a great craft. But that's tough right now because it's just like gonna be everywhere, you know. Can you feel the 
Not bad. Six to face. Is the place. This is like a Civ objection, which is pretty good, right? <laughs> Only four more helpful spells. <laughs> like that, yeah. Mm, forgot about the Sleet Skater. Happy birthday, thank you. How's the matchup against Death Knight? I've played zero games against Death Knight, so I don't know. <laughs> Wait. I was gonna go weapon and then I realized it's a bad idea. Thank you, Dangerous. Thank you, Jakey. Do you think you are superior uh, against Theo? Uh, we're playing the same deck, so it's probably pretty even, dude. But he's running watercolor orders, all right? Thank you, we can fix. <laughs> Chat's mom. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard's kind of good, but I almost like rather do Discovery and Magic here. Ooh, meta. Kind of good. Chat, I hit Lightbinder's Gift, dude. <laughs> it's insane. Let's draw two. Another question is like, how fast do I want to win?
Great for 19. Thank you, dude. Uh, two more years and I get to drink alcohol legally. All right. In America. Alright, I've got nature, fell. Uh, what spells am I yet to play, chat? I've got nature, fell, fire. I feel like I've done them all. My, what am I forgetting here? Fell, fire, holy shadow. Oh, I have shadow. I, I can't remember which one, um, arcane. Nature, nature, okay. This has to die. Hmm. I feel like this sometimes gives me lethal this turn. Do I dump the snake oil now? No, no, no. <sighs> Trying to see if there's a way I can comfortably get a sift down this turn, but I don't think there is. What to do? What to do? Bro. This doesn't do anything now. No, I didn't want it to hit that. Now they're more likely to have a lethal. Son of a gun. Oh, discovery was empty, dang. That's a mistake. Whoops. Snake oil. Thank you, Righteous Larcenist. Got him. Okay, dude. 100% win rate so far, dude. Dude, this deck is good, dude. Balance deck. <laughs> Two missions faster. Oh, beat. How did we beat Love Everlasting, dude? Like, oh, how did we beat, like... Mathil yesterday? No, I was... Why? What did he... Did he do something? Dude, is there a PoE drama? 
This ends now. You asked for it. Is it something cool or something uh bad? Like what well, what is this drama? I need to know. Thank you, Jellison. Oh, he's always cosplaying. One dose solves any problem. Kind of illegal. Of Anubis, I gotcha. You don't pick the ones. Kind of insane, right? You know, like, okay, what do you guys think? On one end, um, Heat Wave is insane here. Another end, Volume Up is insane on future turns. What do you guys think is better here? Um, like, I can take the two damage and then I can go Frost. It gives me a target for my Frost Lich if they go Weapon. I think it's Volume Up. Yeah, I convinced myself. So I want to go this every turn next turn. So if I kill, then I have no play for next turn. Um, to perfection. when they, so, so yeah, now, wait, do you have a two minute weapon or something? Oh, okay. So now I could go this and it's insane. Like where sometimes they just equip weapon there, but yeah, I really like this. Like often they have to face tank this, but when they face tank this, that means they're not like, their 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 weapon comes down like in eight turns from now. Oh, did the red card red card in me, bro? Illegal. Okay, this is actually kind of illegal. Um, actually, let's kill this. Let's go with this. Ooh, infinite frost bolts. Kinda nice. Let's go discoveries. Um, I'm probably just gonna sleet seeker the six five a few turns in a row here. Is this deck hard to play? I don't think so. Um, so this deck has very well defined targets. Uh, win conditions. What does that mean? We basically control the board and then sif OTK. Like, it's not very complicated. Um, now you have a lot of different plays. So you have to be able to evaluate which helps you do that. Um, but for beginners, like the decks are the hardest to play in my opinion, or decks where there's 30 ways to win and you have to decide every game which one is the best. Um, I think that's really hard for a lot of people. Wait, I'm just overdrawing. It's okay. I'm the perfect deck for you. Up top deck, Khadgar, dude. I can't. I I want to get this six life, and I don't want to risk Khadgar screwing me over there. What? They're gonna leave my uh, Freezy Boy up. That's kind of good. Yeah, this isn't bad. We have a very good play here. My hand is too full. Don't use your Dude, worthless. <laughs> I guess it makes it awkward for one turn, but <laughs> nice challenge. I like Mac Theron a lot. Dude, Merrick Theron was supposed to be this really cool eight, sometimes six mana card you play, and it turned into like a one and a three mana card. I'm the perfect toy for you. 
Mm. Tu peux que rien! Mysterious Illegal. Do I get screwed by shadow or by um counter spell? I kinda do. Good. So bad. So bad. Cause now this doesn't deal enough. I still probably just play it and then trade and but Ice Bear is insane though, dude. Actually, way to deal with this board. Um, reverberations. This jerk one. Stuff, dude. Oh wait, that's a great top deck. Demon Hunter deck you got there. <laughs> be shame. Illegal. One hundred percent win rate. Chad Sif is back. Who would have thought, dude? <laughs> Jaina versus the Lich King. The past is dead. You asked for it. Just use more. Pretty sure. Wait, if this is not Plague Death Knight, uh, I don't know. Do we beat Plague Death Knight with this deck? Bruh. Chat, dude. Not gonna lie though, I hate Plague Death Knight. Like, even though I know it's not OP, something about it just like uh, grinds my gears, dude. Hmm. No unlucky with plagues, yeah, that's probably it. Am I a weapon? No. Nope. <laughs> 
Unholy. That feels good. That feels good. <laughs> Chat, where am I? Bro, what do I do here, dude? Face. Let's go, dude. Nice weapon you got there. Arena Paladin all day. To <laughs> our new Vista streamer, dude. Yeah. Well, I, I think um, Plague Death Knight punishes you for playing the game too much. Like, you want to draw cards, but. Um, did yeah, like it'd be interesting if like Helia wasn't a card, but plagues were twice as good or or fifty percent better. Thank you, Vulet. So like, if plagues did like three damage instead, but Helia, or what if like Helia like doubled the damage plagues did to you, but didn't make them infinite? I don't know. Only fifty percent. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, all the, you take, do all these things, and, and Plague Death Knight's still not that powerful. Dude, there she is. There she is. Oh. Son of a... like this jerk mod and then like uh they free his face give gain armor like what are you gonna do you got gonna die my blood for the lich king they don't even get the kill on my one three Wait, no way this didn't die. <laughs> what the heck was that? Okay, okay. Okay, not gonna lie, dude. Shit, I, I got. I could have hit lethal there. <laughs> but. Dude, 
Khadgar not helping here, dude. Son of a gun, dude. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, that's rough. Nine manner doesn't. I mean, I never win there, so I better off just taking a clear. I feel like here, I'm getting some value. Um, I think I don't. You know what? Like, why even draw plagues here? Be honest, like, dude, Khadgar does a lot of damage. Yeah, if we got in the... The Citadel stands strong! The Citadel stands strong. One more death can't hurt. Why not freeze his face? Hot picks him. Alright, if I don't draw plagues, we win. Chat that don't even dude 100 percent win rate so far dude chat do we just climb up to back to top 100 and then i can uh redeem myself hands gamer here you press it dude chat i i bought uh my um my brother for my birthday got me a whole foods gift card but whole foods is like really expensive but uh they have like whole pizzas you can buy so i bought a pizza today i still have leftover it's like pretty decent like pretty decent deal for like a nice whole pizza where everything else in the store is too expensive got one bar of soap <laughs> I kind of want a piece. Yeah. This is like one eighth of it, you know? 
so. You can't beat Chef Plate, $13 entree and two dollar sides. Do they have it at Whole Foods? Yeah. It's weird, like a lot of like, uh, I feel like, uh, I don't know. What did I do here? Hold the eagle. The one from Whole Foods, dude, it's because I have their gift card, dude. Thank you, two on fire. It is cold. It's like four hours old. No one's going to believe it's more, it's not cold. It's like lukewarm. Why are you frostbolted the there? Um, spend my mana. Um, the main reason is uh, hero power doesn't do much, but I have stargazing in hand. So if I use a frost this, then I can draw. I want to often want to play this on four. Um, and then use that to um, and use that to draw. So but So yeah, I do like ranch on pizza, dude. Pizza hut now, dude. Oh god. Sip reverberation is too snakeo and flame guys for 44 damage. There's lots of ways you can go way over for 40 or 50, but most of the deck terms you don't need it.
trying to get in wrecked here. Dude, I'm so dead. I'm just dead. They should go Huffer, right? I, um, I don't feel like waiting. On the wrong side, Jaina. You asked for it. Interesting. Sleet, so Sleet Skeeter. What do you think I should do here? Like, this card makes sense to gain life, but like. That card is the most important card in the mirror. So, the reason I think this card is probably good is your opponent plays Kaggar and then you gain 20 life, right? So let me turn on some um, key to my apartment. A 
here we go, dude. My choice actually ended up being like super clutch here, chat. Thank you, Zero Meta. Um, I don't know if it's like Ice Barrier or Counter Spell here. What is our win condition? I don't know. Dude, dude, do, do, do people. <laughs> it's uh, Infinite Armor, dude. Sif is just for the signature card, right? Or <laughs> High Roll Cat Card spells. Much damage do I have next turn if I did Sif Fire? Um, it would be so I got the five spell damage, so I have four spells for 20 plus six, so 26 damage. So, aka, not even close. Um, I could go for some sort of like reverberations lethal on a future turn, so I get the fire and this, so that would be six spell damage, so that'd be 12. So it would be 12 plus 2 snake oils, which is 24. So I'm not even really close to killing him, to be honest. It's not a bad sign. Works against me. Self-acting for 
Die one two. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. So star power clears, but so does my like inquisitor here, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Good crap. My hand is too full. This play is uh, questionable. damage I have here um, if I go sif reverb double oil frostbolt uh, this would be 12 spell damage so 36 39 so I have 39 burst right here Finish him off, dude. Kagar, I don't trust them, dude. All right, chat. It's kind of like, how ahead do you have to be to put in your like third string like quarterback to finish a game, even though you think it's like an unlosable game? But this guy is like real unreliable. All right, like you want to give the, the dude experience, but this guy is uh, makes a lot of questionable lines. All right. Bad. The secret is kind of ruins my life. Resurrect rain. That's bad. I know this is ice bear. Did I miss lethal? I did. You know, I could have just drawn immediately there. Wait, do I have it anyways? Um, yeah, I could have just drawn immediately. This is good.
<laughs> oh, that could be great, right? They might have just deleted their own stuff here. Jew, Mage, Master, oh, Magic. Chat feels GG. <laughs> I don't know why I love saying that now, dude. I mean, they might not have sip in their hand here. Bruh. No. What if, what if he pulls it off and deletes my sip here? That would be evil, dude. Alright, they gone there. Alright chat, the win rate is kind of out of control then. Upload it to YouTube. This ends now. You asked for it. It's my game. I, I keep Cosmic Keyboard. Uh, it's a good card in the Mulligan. The stats say it's the number one. And it makes sense for it to be good. Because uh, it's a card that I can use to uh, stop the, like, put stats on the board early. Uh, that makes it easier to, to fend off the Demon Hunter's digression. Um, Alright, so they're doing a high tempo. Uh, I'm debating what I want to do. Uh, I, I actually ideally play this Wisdom for four mana. I think to get a 4-4, but we'll see what we top deck. Bro. Okay, when my opponent does this, I'm questioning my lines, like what I want to do here. Because um, this is very scary, right? Like, why did they just go all in on this? Like, I don't really know. But I think I just still want to just, like, go Cosmic here. Um, I can't clear this this turn anyways. <clears throat> uh, this allows me I can go Flame Geyser Ping into, like, Wisdom next turn. Void Scripture is also like a really bad card to play on three. There's, you know, you, there's other than like hitting Discovery Magic for value, uh, there's not a lot of great outs to hit. Multiroon, fantastic top deck uh, because it allows us to kill this while developing a 3-3. Three, three. Um, I much prefer this to Flame Geyser Ping. Um, uh, it gets us a 3-3, three, three, uh, so this is quite nice. Now we have to decide, you know, how do we proceed? Um, I think like an animal companion flame geyser could be quite good. We could do wisdom, but with this hand, it's not that hard for me to get, uh, at least with the void scriptures on five, uh, it doesn't seem that hard for me to get the wisdom discounted. Um, but uh, we'll see. Um, I think I'm gonna just take an animal companion here. Um, I could, like I said, go the Wisdom, but uh, this seems good. Uh, now um, that I hit Huffer, I could go face here. Um, and I have to decide if I want to go face. I'm going to kill this off. Uh, if I trade here, um, I got to think, so what's their most likely play? Three drop this. I think it's a go face. They don't really have really that many ways to punish me for going face. They have one major way to punish me, but it's not the end of the world. It's uh, Unleash Fe or the, the one mana spell. Uh, but at the end of the day, like this, this pushes a ton of damage. Uh, going face here. 
You sound low today. Sorry, how about that? <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I just. I. I. So. Sorry, with donuts deck as well. Look, look, seven, seven. Regression to the mean is something that uh, keeps you from enjoying like the uh, the ups in life, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm the perfect toy for you. All right, so I decide what I want to do here. Um, I've discovered some magic. I think I want to start with the Void Scripture, see if I can hit something good. A Seeker would be really nice. Uh, this Hidden Objects is really good. Uh, I could do this and draw some cards, but I like getting the Secrets. Um, if I high roll something, it could be real nice. Counter Spell is probably good enough here. Um, so, and that gets an Arcane card. Uh, so I think I can do that, and then I can discover something from this. Um, ideally, a one mana card. Holy Nova is pretty good, and it's a Holy Spell. This is... We never want to spend that, so I think I'm going to take the Holy Nova here, and I think I'm going to play um, this Flame Geyser here. I didn't really need to play the Flame Geyser, but uh, there's a case for me not playing the Flame Geyser. I'm not really sure what's best here. It's interesting. From their point of view, they it's hard for them to know what secret it could be, um, because it could be a lot of stuff here. Um, we did. Yeah, I think they were afraid uh, of the fire secret there, so they did this play. But I'm kind of getting wrecked, to be honest. Like, my life is so low. Um, I just don't have a way to deal with the 6-5. Um, and I don't have a CUA in my hand. Uh, I had to think of, like, how do I approach this problem? But I'm kind of just scared, like I'm probably gonna die here. Um, it's the reality of it. Like I don't have a good clear. I'm gonna play Void, maybe I could hit the, oh, so, oh, Star Power would be really good. But uh, uh, I think I'm gonna just take the uh, Ice Barrier. I could take Soul Freeze, but if it hits this, I kind of get screwed. Um, I don't know, um, hmm, hmm. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go this. Then I'm gonna go discovery. Try to set up for next turn. Um, Aftershocks looks like it's it's probably the play. Uh, I can get the, I can kill everything next turn. Um, and I hope I don't die. I can do something like uh, aftershocks with like ice barrier. Uh, I take a lot of damage here, but. Um, I think it like puts me in a decent position, so we'll see. Soul Freeze seemed good. I don't know what was better. So Soul Freeze, you take damage, right? So I take 12 attack off the board, but I take three damage if it hits the right target. If it hits the wrong target, it could be worse, right? It could hit the one on the left, and then I take two damage. So Ice Barrier seems mathematically the same, all right? Uh, but but with no possibility of low rolling. So, um, I have to decide like what's better after this turn too. So would I rather have uh, like an ice barrier for next turn um, or the soul freeze? And I kind of like this, the ice barrier for future turns because it allows me to gain more life on a later turn. Um, bro, that's kind of illegal. Um, all right, this is really awkward of what the best play is here. Um, I, I want to go Artificer, but the problem with Artificer is I don't want it to die. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to not play around Metamorphosis, and I just lose the Metamorphosis here. Uh, that's the way it is what it is. But I'm going to play the Ice Barrier here. Um, I think I'm going to hold the Flame Geyser here. And I'm setting up myself to heal a bunch with Arcane next turn. Uh, that's the current plan. 
Um, once again, dead to metamorphosis here. Um, I would also have loved to have drawn Sleet Skater there, but I did not. Um, meta kills you. Yep, that's what I just said. Uh, I basically don't think playing around meta is the most winning line. Um, play, I could play around meta, but then I gain... I do that... Um, I'm not sure... I gain 6 armor, um, but I don't like leave this as a th must remove threat. Um, I, I just don't... Uh, they only have 4 cards, so it's unlikely they have meta in hand. It's more likely they top deck it. So it's a spot where I think it's much better to just take the risk and know you're going to lose sometimes. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go for the arcane play. Um, my deep, if I don't, I'm trying to discover stuff, but if I don't, I can always just freeze, uh, this 8-7 with the Frostbolt. So I'm gonna go for this and see if I can hit something good. Um, ooh, this is interesting. We hit both Crypto, uh, Servation, which allows us to freeze their face, but the Reverberations, which I think I, I slightly prefer, because it allows me to get rid of this card for good. So I'm gonna reverb this Jerkwad. Alright. Um, now I have to decide of, like, all right, so I think I'm going to kill it then with this. And um, I think I'm going to freeze their face here. Uh, it seems like a reasonable thing. It seems like an awkward thing. Uh, play the guy. I have very little value here, but um, I do have 11 life. Uh, we, we currently um, are beating like a metamorphosis run out of cards. Um, Yeah, it's an overexplained game. That toy was made just for me. Ooh, Sleet Skater, nutty draw here. Um, so I am going to do that because uh, this gains me seven life here, which is really, really good. Um, and I'm going to then go hit in objects, see what I hit here. Um, I kind of want to just take another Ice Barrier. Uh, you know, I can use Explosive Ruins or any of these fancy cards, but at the end of the day, just more life is most valuable. And then I'm going to forge this card uh, and not play it. Um, this puts me in a situation where I can, you know, kill a minion, heal, uh, you know, they're going to have to go face eventually, and so, yeah, we're, uh... uh my hands are doing really good these days. Um, I still, like, I mean, I played, uh, Path of Exile for, like, five hours yesterday, um, and I'm playing Righteous Fire, which is, like, the lowest APM, but... They like they hurt for like twenty minutes, uh, but then the rest of the time it did not hurt. So it was like uh, it just like had a, like a little bit of pain for like twenty minutes, uh, and then it went away. So that's like but great, you know. Pain is weakness leading the body. I, I, the philosophy of pain is super interesting because of like what pain is and how, what are the best, like, uh, what are the best actions to improve your life around pain, you know? Oh, I have a full clear. All right, so, um, I have a full clear here, but I want to gain life. So I'm going to go Sleet Skeeter on this guy first. Um, gaining eight life. Uh, this does deal seven. So I'm going to go Forge Ruins on their face so I can get two cards for next turn. Um, ooh, that's really good. Uh, I'm going to clear with this. 
Uh, I have to clear. Uh, I couldn't just freeze two minions because that guy can do face damage basically and I'm an ice barrier. So I'm at a comfortable 14 life, but, but effectively 22. Uh, Metamorphosis does not kill me. Um, they would really need Metamorphosis and uh, the 8 drop. Uh, and right now we can get Pendant and get like a Puzzle Master here. Ooh, that's not good though. <clears throat> All right, well, my damage to face doesn't help me very much. This Reverberation's real stylish though. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with the Pendant first, uh, see what I can hit here. Uh, I decide if I wanna hit Sif or Khadgar. Uh, I think Khadgar is actually the long-term value card here. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna play him th this turn, I think. Um, I think I would rather just do a Reverberations on this Jerkwad, because um, I get the heal. And then I ping this off. So I do this. It doesn't kill it, but it just sets me up to nice to go a nice ping in Cadgar next turn. Uh, this I feel is just a very. They have two cards in hand, so unless they top deck card draw, um, you know they're very much out of value here. Um, so I think I'm just in a very strong winning position here. Yeah. Well, it's it, it's just interesting in that. Um, I mean, I, I think the, there's a lot of like, so, like, uh, sort of, all right. So anyways, I'm going to go Khadgar here. Uh, I could go Sleet Skater, but I just want to take the win here. Um, I'm going to get my weapon value going. I'm going to ping their guy. I'm going to pass. I really don't see us losing here. We get a mirror image. Uh, I just want to get this long-term value chain. Kind of insane we win this. I know, dude. <clears throat> Oh, it's going going down swinging like they're just out of stuff thank you Kenzen thank you JTR so I'm gonna draw first uh, I don't really want to use this on a 2-1 um, then we're gonna go with uh, stargazing here um, we hit primary glyph uh, I, th I could uh, freeze their guy both plays are winning so I'm gonna go with this uh, I think I'm going to take volume up. I can draw like the rest of my spells in my deck with this. Um, I think I'm going to take it with this. This seems reasonable. I can get raw elementals control the board. I play this. We draw a bunch of cards here. Um, I mean, we really kind of have everything we need to win. I'm just going to take another wisdom. I mean, do I even want another wisdom? Um, what do I have left in my deck? I don't know, dude. I mean, I don't know how to lose this. Uh, I think... Wisdom actually overdraw, like, I'm gonna take Infinitize, but I don't really know. I don't know how to lose here. Um, Fireball, they're 2-1. Okay, so, okay. so, I mean, if they went Metamorphosis... How'd your hands get better? Um, basically, mental uh, mental health techniques uh, centered around chronic pain. Um, so... All right, so let's see if I have lethal here with draw Sif um, and this. I don't know. All right, we drew Sif. How much damage is this? Seven. Actually, it's not. Um, we're going to draw two first here. Okay, we hit Frostbolt. Um, if I trade here and then uh, so my Sif does plus seven spell damage. So I do three spells uh, and that should be lethal. So we go Sif here. We trade here. We go uh, Frostbolt to face. We go this Jerkwad to face. And we go this Jerkwad to face. <laughs> Another excellent game, dude.
New glyph. All right, overexplain game. Uh, this card's really good against Demon Hunter. I think I'm just gonna keep one of the two. Makes sense, right? Um, so I have a one and a two, and I have this card that is useful on their five six. So I'm gonna play the Miracle Salesman on one. Uh, not, I'm not gonna go too much in depth, but basically you want to spend your mana and put, get get cards in play. Um, your cards that are in your hand uh, are not in play, so they can't do work for you. Um, it's it's kind of like chat when a card is in your hand it's kind of like when your friend says they have a girlfriend but she goes to another school but uh but she's not there so you mean it's not she's not that great so i'm gonna ping this guy here um, <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah so All right, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna trade here first because if I hit frost, if I hit frostbolt, um, it would be insane here. So I'm gonna trade here first to see if I can hit high roll frostbolt. Um, now I have to decide if I want to go glyph or if I just want to uh, flame geyser here. Um, flame geyser play the minion might be a little bit better here. Um, so glyph I could also still hit frostbolt, but I think I'm just going to stick with this play. I trade here. I play this. Um, so if I knew I hit Frostbolt, then I could I could freeze the next turn, but they might just find a way to kill my 3-6. So I think this is fine. They go weapon here. I kill this. I get a, a free water elemental. Um, and then they're going to hit. They're going to play their 3-6, and then I'm going to freeze it. And we're going to gain a crap ton of life. So uh, stick with the plan. We're going to clear this. Uh, this gets us a 3-6, so they have, to, they have to do stuff. Um, they're likely to play their 6-5. Uh, and this lets, sets us up to go Sleet Skater, and this just gives us so much life. This card against, you know, these high health minions, attack minions, is just insanely good. Um, it's just so much life to be gained. That toy was made just for me. And to perfect you, yeah. Oh, son of a gun. All right, they're glacial shorting my 3-6, but uh, it's not going to stop me from kicking some ass. Uh, I'm going to freeze their 6-5 here. Uh, this not only does, this is kind of like we're gaining 12 life. Because this would be going face for six. It doesn't, and we get six life. Um, it also gets me this miniaturized version, which I can do next turn. So I can utilize this frozen minion um, to not only gain life, but uh, give me time. Unfortunately, this is a really annoying play. Uh, so this is the kind of thing we don't want to have happen. But let's life chat. Like, sometimes you're like, I don't want my life, you know, life to suck, and it just sucks. It is what it is. Um... So I have to decide what I want to do here. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, I could go face. I think getting the category down is like really valuable long term. So even though I'd like to, you know, trade, I think I'd rather kill these off here uh, and this. Uh, I could have like frozen this and traded there or frozen their face. But this seems to be, to me, the play that, you know, getting this down gets us a ton of value. Uh, so we just want to get this value going. Um, I have an answer ready for the Mechtheridon. I'm the perfect champion. I'm the perfect champion. Yeah. Alright, this is really annoying. Um, Alright, I just drew the best card possible. Um, this deal is 3 to all. I really want to clear this board. I think I'm going to go Void Scriptures first to see if I can high roll something. Sometimes it's Ice Trap. We're not happy about that. But um, I could have just not played anything. It might have been better to not play anything. Oh, I got a Shadow Spell, which is kind of interesting. Then I'm going to clear. Wait, did I get a Shadow Spell? Wait, it says Shadow, but I didn't actually get it. That's a bug. That's interesting. It doesn't understand that. Um, so, might have been a huge mistake. Uh, I could have just played this and played around both of these cards. So, I got really, really punished, though. For my play there, bro.
All right, I'm very scared here. Said what I wanted to do here. Um, I think I want to do some sort of sleep play. Um, so I think I'm going to go sleet on their 3-4 here, and then Frostbolt their 3-3. Their three, three. By going this second, um, it, uh, it has the damage go there, so it doesn't go to my face. Um, I'd love to hit like Ice Barrier here. We hit Arcane, um, but uh, we have to survive a lot more turns. I would love to like survive till next turn, and then I can heal for 12. Uh, but they're just kind of putting me in an awkward position. Um, it's not particularly great for us. One dose solves any problem. Decide what I want to go for here. Um, I might have to use my Sleet Skakers next turn on three health minions in order to not die. I hit a Frostbolt so I can deny face damage. Um, I think I'm going to go for the three mana spell and hope to high roll something. I don't know how Heat Wave works in this situation, to be honest. Let's see if it works the way I want it to. Um, not really. Um, but uh, we're still, it's actually still pretty decent. We're going to do this, another Heat Wave here, clearing, uh, clearing that part of the board. Um, and I want to frostbolt their. I want to take the safe a uh, safe play here, so I have to frostbolt their face here um, to deny the minion damage or the damage. Uh, then I go sleet skater this. Then I'm gonna go discovery magic. And um, ooh, holy nova seems pretty good here. Or I mean, love everlasting. Um, so I'm gonna take that. Uh, Aftershock's not bad either. I probably should have taken that. We hit car over spell here. Deal. Thank you for the raid, Morgan buddy. GG earlier. Dude, we're playing the same deck today. Thank you, Diddin. <laughs> Should we play some salsa? Alright, I gotta think. Hmm. Okay, um, I got a nice uh, top decking this minion is really nice because it's a full clear. Uh, we want to freeze this jerk wad first just for the life gain. Um, we now play the love everlasting. Uh, this gets us some heal. Uh, then we deal five to all, which is quite nice. And we might as well go the wisdom here, spend our mana, uh, draw us uh, two cards. So we developed, we gain life. Uh, and we got some taunty boys, so went pretty well. Uh, I would have liked to frostbolt their face there, which did not happen, but uh, that's life. Sometimes you want an ice barrier or a frostbolt and you just get some mirror images, you know? <laughs> Dude, mage feels really good. That toy was made just, just for me! And the perfect time here. <laughs> I'm the perfect toy for you. Mysterious. Yeah. Is ready for another round? Hey, did they? Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm very afraid here. Um, I'm very, very afraid. Uh, okay, so I don't... So I'm actually afraid of Counterspell. So I'm going to go Glyph first because I kind of want to draw cards off of this. It was Counterspell. It's quite unfortunate. Let's see if the love actually transfers. It does not. Um, then I'm going to go Stargazing here. This allows me to draw like eight cards. Um, so I have... Uh, that seems pretty decent. Uh, so I draw eight cards here. And now I have to decide what I want to do. I'm getting rat trapped. Oh my god, dude. What do I do? I'm gonna die, Chad. I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I gotta think here. I gotta think. Alright, I, I think I'm gonna go for uh, a Void Scriptures play, Chad. Uh, there's a lot of things I could hit here. Um, I kind of like Reverb here. There's a lot of uh, high rolls I could hit, but there's also a lot of low rolls. Uh, I mean, this is so many like this. So I think I'm gonna take the Reverb here. Let's see what we hit here. We hit a Worthless 2-2. That is great. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the glyph here. Glyph. All right, Frostbolt. All right, I'm gonna go for Infinitize. Heat Wave. 
play the heat wave. Crossbow minion. Trade. Trade. Ice bear. Dude, it actually helped them. What the heck, dude? <laughs> All right, whatever. Doesn't have rush, does it? Bruh. Happy birthday, thank you. My dad, I'm dead, chat. Son of a gun, dude. I could have frostbolted their face. Fair and balanced in demon under Dem demonios. Demonios. This ends now. You asked for it. Dude, it's like 57% dude. It's absurd. The stats say I shouldn't keep this. Alright. I kind of I kind of agree. Like we want to hit Sleet Seeker. Like we can't afford to do a six man do nothing against Demon Hunter. Why no Spanish power hour? To be honest, like I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of hungover. Chat, how do I make my hangovers go away faster, dude? I'm I'm giving up drinking after I don't know. It's just like annoying, dude. I don't know. Water, I'm drinking the water, dude. Keep drinking. I don't feel like depressed though. Like depression hangover is the worst kind of hangover. I just have like a. Feeling like a pickle juice, drink water last night before bed. I did do that, all right. But uh, I woke up at like six in the morning. Let me see. So I had like a this thing that was called like a big ass lemonade. So it was like a 32 ounce of lemonade. Uh, so it was a lot of lemonade. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, really enjoyed the high speed commentary. Happy to hear that, dude. Ooh, this is interesting. What do I take here, chap? Like, Lightbinder's Gift is insane, right? But Shepherd Ruin is also insane, because I can kill the six fives. But it's not that insane. All right, I'm going to take this. Um, ping this trick off. I read that today people like people called alcoholics 200 year dipsomaniacs. What does that mean? If they're gonna go coin five drop, I can feel it here. Okay, oh, amazing top deck, amazing. Yeah. It, but like the thing is, like in some ways, I'm so my ability to do focused work. For long periods of time and I know this like comes from somebody where you're like no hands you play video games for a living all right that being said all right I put in a crap ton of hours been grinding the YouTube game like I made some freaking Twitter uh, tier list content I've been grinding hard I could not have done that when I was younger you know Like, the amount of efficiency I have, like, to just, like, grind out work, you know? So, it's like, it's not like I'm, like, less. I feel like I'm, I'm a better person overall. 
Just not in the like binge drinking category, you know, which is unfortunate because that is how that is the most important thing in life. This is your ability to binge drink, right? Follow, thank you for the prime. Get on such anything, switch follow. That being said, I, I do remember just having more time to be hungover in my 20s. I remember I finally watched Breaking Bad because I got so drunk uh, on a Saturday. And then by Sunday, I was like incapable of doing anything. So I was like, I have to do something. So I like finally like I'd only watched the first three episodes of Breaking Bad and I got on board and then I just started watching episode like I, I had nothing else my body was capable of doing. And then I just spent like literally 10 hours straight watching the show. Zero sum game, thank you for the tier one. Give us a drink, so much zero sum game. Yeah, dude. So I, I I watched some like they made some lists. I think they had uh like celebrities rank the best shows of all time, and it was like Breaking Bad was number one. I think Game of Thrones was number two, or at least of like maybe it was of all time. It was like the best shows of like it's what's considered the best in the current times, I guess. Okay, what do I want to do here? Um... This is my punish chat. Yeah, I did. That toy was made just for me. But dude, Breaking Bad does have that feel of like it's like reading a like a, one of those really good books that really have like twenty percent of it. it's like insane, but like a lot of it is just kind of like you know kind of fluff <laughs> you know there's a lot of fluff i didn't like the fluff of breaking bad but like the good stuff was so good that you that you would put up with it you know wait what they gave up wait you have a full hand dude yeah dude i remember i couldn't watch the shining in one series i think i watched it when i was like 11 and uh yeah i watched like the first half of the shining and dude those kids dude creep like the kids and the stuff like freaked me out and like the like the naked lady in the in the the, the bathtub uh freaked me out so much Gina versus Garrosh. <laughs> chad do you ever like okay you know what it must be like to like go you're okay you're a, you're an actress and you're applying for like, like <laughs> some like th that to be that naked lady in uh, The Shining, and you're like, that we're looking for some like lady that's just like being naked herself is just creeps everybody out, and like you go and you're like, hey, I want this role, <laughs> like you know, and they're like, all right, you're like, dude, like, like imagine like like trying out for that role, like what is that's gotta be so weird. It was fat people, yeah. Yeah, I bet that's like Jonah Hill 
like like was kind of that bro and then like he lost weight and then like Hollywood is mad at him because they're like you should stay fat and he's like no I kind of like this better but I think also like the guy from um I think the guy from like remember the titans like lost a ton of weight and became like a bodybuilder or something <laughs> I've never been this thing. Secret? I suck. Ooh. I could get uh, two Molten Runes, right? But... This card actually kind of sucks, but... Whatever. These are guts. No the uh, danger, illegal.
Makes a dirty rat less likely, but still probably likely. Uh, how much damage can I do next turn? Uh, Sif has plus six, so I have one, two, three, four spells, so I have 24 plus eight, so I have 32 damage. <clears throat> Swimming is much safer. Well, for a stand -up? Careful. It's me. Nice, uh, nice uh, 32 life you got there. <laughs> Wait, I have exact, right? This is uh, 24. 24 plus 8, right? Alright, chat. Good at doing math, hands gamer. I could have a zero mana fell spell here. Ooh, what would be good? Bro. Dude, this this rainbow mage is kind of illegal. Nice reading you got there. Hello. Our hands are the good. Ninety percent win rate. Don't know, do you see, dude, your deck did. It's like mad famous. You've been like crafting it for months, and then it's finally it's time to shine. It's like the deck that has the best win rate against Demon Hunter. Chad, if you've been playing the Dono's Warrior deck with my small ETC adjustment, <laughs> dude, let Dono know how good of a deck failure he is. Window shopper incoming. How did I know, dude? Because no hands always knows. And the perfect chair for you. Dude, why do I, why do I love doing that, dude? 
Hey, you pay for Jamie here. So, chat, I think part of the fear of sharks, beyond just the fact that they look terrifying, um, but is the fact that, um, so you ever hear the fact that, like, people are willing to take on ten times as much risk if they feel they're in control? So I always feel like with sharks, it's just like, it's not just the shark, it's like the feeling of this thing is just gonna cut, like, is, is coming to kill me. This guy, they'll really think they can actually kill a bear. Yeah, I guess if you're like, if you lived in like an aquamarine society, you know, you might, uh, where are they going here? This is really good, right? This is insane shit. That turn was kind of illegal. Now I am complete. Sharks, but people hang out with cows more. Like, okay, maybe it's only because they haven't made a, a cow killer movie yet. Like, the moment they make a cow killer movie. Like the then then um like people will start dying more to the cows, you know? You know what I'm saying, chat. <laughs> um, I can remember. But, uh... Do I have lethals ever, chat? So I can go revert, wait, okay. For now. <laughs> Jeez. Silence. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> You asked for it.
No Mike Gamer? Wait, what ha what happened? What's your opinions on birds? I'm against them. Alright. Um, the only thing I like about birds is that they're good targets for cats to kill. To get practice. <laughs> <laughs> chat ever since i watched chat if we, were, we were talking about like sharks i watched the birds as a kid uh and that movie was terrifying all right dude like sharks are nothing dude birds are the true alpha predator of uh of the world all right and i, I have great fear for them Wait, Chad, have you guys not seen Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds? Oh my god, dude, it's, it's scary, dude. The Birds. 1963. Dude, it's a classic, dude. Nineteen sixty-three, dude. They don't make movies like they did anything anymore. Okay, dude. I don't like you watch a horror movie in twenty twenty-four, or at least in like it's just like a bunch of like murderous, gruesome stuff. You know, blood, guts. Like, like it's too much. They don't have that. Like, they don't create that feeling of like fear. You know, like it's more just like disgust. Psycho is pretty, pretty, uh, creepy, too. Ooh, nice uh, armor you got there. Yeah, Hitchcock really was, I agree. Wait. Bruh. Wait, what? This is this is unfortunate. Um Dude, this was too fast. How do I beat this chat? Oh my god, I'm gonna die, dude. Like what do I do here, chat? This was very bad. Um, I never saw the ring. I just knew everyone talked about it. So, I mean, it's the, but uh, I never actually watched it. Just like everyone at my mom wouldn't let me watch it. And then everyone in school was talking about it.
<laughs> and I think I think once I heard heard about it, like you're afraid if you watch the movie, you 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 know you're gonna die, right? So so you're like, I'm not gonna watch this movie. <laughs> Heal seven. I played all my spells here. So I can go Oaken Summons and get like Artificer here, which seems kind of good. I ain't talking. Nice dirty rat you got there. Be <laughs> shame. I mean. Nice hit. I could just gain a billion armor, but it's son of a gun, dude. If I lose, if I overdraw Sif here, I'm so pissed. Do you have this in a bigger size? If I ever draw a Civ, I'm gonna do 30 million damage, but.
right. I just need to draw a Sif chat. We go Sif. We go with this. We go Molten Rune. Is that... Or we just go Sif this, coin this. I don't know. <clears throat> Bro, my opponent was like at no life. And they just gained like 80,000 life. Am I going to die now, dude? And I wasted my coins. Do I have all the spells? I can't remember. Yeah, I do. Um... I think I do this actually. I just rather draw and not have to wait four turns. We got eviscerate. What sucks is I can't even really go Freezing Trap here. Um, because I can't put this back in their hand. It's not worth it. I guess I do this. How much damage does Sif do here? 12 spell damage or 16 times 2. And I get um, 32 plus 7. 32 plus 7. Uh, I don't have it, chat. No, I, I really just kind of have to go in though. All right? Like, I'm not. I could, I could wait to draw Snake Oil. That's the option, right? I can wait to draw snake oil. If I can do a little bit more damage. Monthly tax, thank you so much. I might have to do that. I just I don't think I win with the without the snake oil. I have um sixteen thirty two so it's sixteen thirty two seven You know, it's such a thing. So much browning. When is guaranteed? Uh, they have a TNT. I think we might have it guaranteed next turn. We draw spotlight. I think we have enough mana to trade because this is um, this is yeah, this is four mana, so we still have it. We have it like almost all the time next turn. Most you can get. Yep, it's, that's the total amount of spell schools are there in the game.
11 and 2 today, then. Meta Breaker! Meta Breaker! Chat. I heard that. Wait, somebody called the game over, dude? I didn't see that. Chad, dude, I, I, I saw like a Larry David interview that I kind of like... I kind of like uh, vibed with where he's Larry David was talking about like his character and like curb your enthusiasm. He's kind of like an asshole, but then he like will sometimes do that in real life. And then he's like, "What am I doing?" I I feel like I you know because you have your asshole character kind of as a streamer, you know. <laughs> sometimes you're like, "What?" Am, you know, if I'm actually doing that, I'm like, "What am I doing?" Dude? You know, like. Oh god, how do I deal with this shit? Larry's biography though, I know, right? Oh, that's so good. Alright. Okay. Just freeze their face, their guy every turn. It's actually like a huge pickup. I mean, it's gonna gain like a million damage, but... That's all I guess. Just use more. I don't know if I was supposed to. It might have been correct to trade there. Try the <clears throat> Takes me a new losses to feel comfortable. Um, because of confirmation bias, I like creativity. Uh, you're looking at this one. You remember another time. There have been plenty of times where I try a new deck and my win rate gets disturbed. Also, there's a survivorship bias. So if I play a deck and I play it for two or three games and I lose, I stop playing it. If I win the first three games in a row, I'm more likely to keep playing it. Um, so one, there's an element of it just happens to be good that day. Like maybe the meta was really rewarding that deck. Uh, and then two, there's the element of... Um... Oh, it's ski. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. What? Yes, yeah, Oh, so happy. Chad, I'm about to gain like infinite life. I go sleet skater next turn. I'm gonna gain 20 life. Dude, what if I just can't kill a list in the end? No, I, I have multi rune, I should be fine, but like we're gonna gain 20 and then they're gonna do it again. And we're gonna gain 40. Oh my god, dude. Wait, the stealth would be bad. But we're okay. And they're actually just taking so much damage for their own minion now, dude. Look at that, dude. Oh my god, dude. You possess true power. You possess true power. <laughs> It's stealth. What are you doing here? Oh, they're red carding it. Wait. It's kind of a good play. <laughs> oh, dude. dude. Stealth is like, it's a, it's a different strategy. Uh, I mean, the, so. Uh, dude, 12 and 2, dude. <coughs> you possess true power.
Dude, I wonder if we're gonna play uh Gracias, Doc Judge. Jaina versus Valera. Watch your step. You asked for it. Not a rage quit. Oh, do I just play you, Cog? Are you, are you Charlie? GG did. That was that was fun for the stream. Thanks for taking one for the team. <laughs> oh, uh, what's a safe craft? Cadgar is a safe craft. I'm gonna go with Cadgar. Is as safe and reliable of a craft as the spells he gives you. So if you just watch, you're gonna know how Cadgar always gets you a spell that's useful. So. Definitely safe and definitely not a foolish play. <laughs> We've created a temporal anomaly. Toys are much more fun to bring. Bro, this is terrible. I don't have dragons in my deck. Is someone there? Nope, nobody there. My hand kind of blows, not gonna lie. These are, are terrible, dude. I get a free coin though? Get a free freaking molten rune. And recognition, you know. So I can freeze their big stuff with crypto evasion, which is kind of good. Um, but this is kind of nice too, to right? Uh, it gets me. I think I'm gonna take this. Um, it's a weird play, but um, I don't know. It makes everything in my deck really cheap, and it's in nature. So we'll see if I get punished for that.
I'm just gonna go for Wind Fury. I can deal with anything but Wind Fury. Is this the best version of Rainbow Mage? So, I am 12 and 2. Uh, I looked up a HS replay. This had a really high win rate. Um, but I have played nothing but this deck. So, really, I could say it's the best version. But do I really know? I have that information. I have a great win rate. I have stats that say it's good. But that doesn't mean it's good. It's the harsh truth of life chat. Um, so, you gotta decide for yourself. Dude, how do I win here? Um, Reality. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna die. Chad, he never has three damage. Fishing. Toys are much more fun than rings. I could have. Um, I thought this was more dangerous. But I don't know. Might be better to freeze the one two. One two is one damage, face could be I didn't do the math. Like they have this minion on the board, right? So So any buffs can just go on this. So I I don't see I, I see it more valuable to uh <laughs> These are the free wins. <laughs> Was it there? Just attacking. Um, it it's a spot where I don't really know the math on that spot. Um, so the math is like really complicated of like them randomly generating like stuff that increases the attack of their weapon or I, i'm not exactly sure um they already have a minion that could attack face so i, I didn't see the value in freezing the one two they always are going to buff the other minion right so i try i looked at it it's a very it's a very marginal decision to be honest like um wait, bro. This turn is kind of illegal. Guess I take uh, the one man arcane. You ever take four man occasion creation protocol? It's actually like so much stats, right? Maybe I do do that. Yeah, let's do that. You know, I might lose my Sif. I'll be okay. He doesn't love you, dude. I didn't want to tell you, dude. But like. I just don't feel the same as I used to. <laughs> you know, this, the the passion is gone. We're just like two people like doing things, playing cards now. You know, it's not the same. Any problem. 
Bro, I get this. I get this five drop here, chat. How is it even possible? What is this nonsense? <laughs> Dude, I have no freaking beast for this. Oh my god. Happy Easter. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it is Easter, didn't Oh, dude, of course they're going down swinging here, bro. Bro, this has been like so illegal, dude. Like, what am I supposed to freaking do here, dude? You know? Oh my god, it's brutal. Just doing like a billion damage to me a turn here. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna die. Dude, this one two has literally sold me. Dude, I'm so annoyed that they got through my taunts for free with the going down swinging. Went all in on chaos creation. It was a good play when I don't get a freaking zero three, dude. I'm still. I just need like them to do like one bad turn and we win because we have like. But we just need a little bit of damage though. We get there. Get their one off. Uh, their one off. I know they got it. Son of a gun, dude. Such bullshit. Thank you. Thank you, Amarillo. Thank you, Halu. Cause, gracias. It's too good to turn down. Thank you. Luke James, I think it's 12 months. Kind of such anything, especially Luke James. Coins OP, dude. Dude, turn turn four cat guard coming, chat. Dude, it's over, Anakin. I have the turn four cat guard. 
going first. Delaying the weapon. Wait, oh, wow. They literally passed here. Chat, this is kind of insane. Sphinx, thank you for 25, uh, 2,500 bits. Thank you so much, Thanks dude. for the hours of content. Category has been actually really great. You're still not going to lie. He's been way better than I expected. You just can't go all in on him. So Khadgar is like that friend that is like good overall in your life, but like you never can really rely on him. Like you invite him to like a party, but you don't say like, you know, I need you to bring the beer because like he might not bring the beer and then you're just screwed, right? So like you don't do that. Wait, son of a gun, dude. <laughs> That's why they never asked me to bring the beer. Dude. Sleet Skater, yeah, dude. Sleet Skater is your, like, reliable bring the beer friend, you know? Uh... Brings another friend with him. Doesn't start a lot of drama. Keep keeps every it keeps keeps the party sane, all right? Uh, you know. Doesn't talk a lot, you know. But that's okay. Would just ping be better? Maybe ping would be better there. Ping here, or or you could go ping ice barrier. Pink Ice Bear might have been better there. Son of a gun, dude. <laughs> Hold up the three threes. Sip is like the only one that needs you the most, yeah. <laughs> Please your egg in the next game, dude. <laughs> Created a temporal anomaly. I'm the perfect toy for you. Release me. I will grant you a monstrous discount. Yeah. Thank you, Sodas. Ah, 
Gosh dang it, dude. Divine Shield Poison Rush. Gotta be joking me. Now the sun. That was such a freaking high roll, dude. Cause like they get the goods of the taunt there, you know, for free. Blows, dude. Oh, there's the meta. That toy was made just for me. Hey, perfect turn for you. Must be nice, dude. Uh, I think that that the one turn, if I had gone um, ping uh, ping uh, ice bear, we would have won. I think my play kind of uh, uh, we could have gotten a lot more life. I think. Why no Finley? Dude, that's a good question, dude. Why chat? Should we run Finley in this deck? What do you guys think? <laughs> I run two, dude. Finley is a pretty good card. Dude, Finley would make sense. Too Finley, Ciao. <laughs> while we're ignoring game mechanics, you know, let's go farther, right? Unravel. <laughs> we should run Steam Cleaner too. Uh, Finley and Steam Cleaner. Can we run, um, what else can we run here? Theotar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four mana Theotar, though, you know?
insane. The legendary is infinite discover spells. No. Is Molten Ruin actually worth it in this deck? Um, I don't know, dude. Uh, I know it's been helpful. But is, are there better cards? Possibly. I haven't checked all the cards. Molten Ruin is a card that uh, has been run in many Sith Mage lists. It also has been cut in certain Sith Mage lists. So I don't really know. Seems like a reasonable card to put in the deck. Like it's a fire spell. You know, but I I haven't done the analysis. Like, if I was a consultant and uh, at uh, Hearthstone Decks Incorporated, and they're like they wanted me to give a presentation on isn't Molten Rune worth it? I I don't really know. Uh, but they would have to pay me money to waste my time <laughs> on that kind of stuff. You know. Getting a lot of life though. Are cards worth it? Chat is love worth it. <laughs> I can convert love is worth it. Aw. No, DK Taze is like, no. <laughs> is this deck playable? So, okay. So, I live in Chicago, which is part of Illinois, which is a state in the United States of America. And due to our constitutional freedoms, the government can't tell you what decks you cannot and cannot play. Even though I would uh, definitely ban certain decks, you know. I don't. Uh, but unfortunately for me, uh, I do not run the government, so you can play this deck uh, here in America. All right, so. That makes sense. I kind of want to do this. Like, this is like. I could get a one mana one. <laughs> this is kind of good, though. Like, it's just like a bunch of stats. It gives me like an intermediate play, you know? You play with my feet? Yes, technically. I more click with my feet. Uh, uh. <laughs> right Where's the Degas Priest? <laughs> the same for Bob jokes and government <laughs> jokes. All right, chat. Um, Crap, that's a useless card. Right, 
Bro, are you ever gonna play Odin? Uh, dude, the, uh, losing that that uh, snake oil actually matters, but whatever. Okay. <clears throat> on the pop-off turn um i mean we we can make it so do you have this in a bigger size sip is at plus seven um we just need fell right yeah so we still have the two discoveries of magic in our deck but I might just get um So right now I can do a uh, sif reverb like frost bolt this I guess if double frost bolt no matter the thing, bad though Mmm, it's bad. Mm. Looks tough to win, chat. Uh, I, I, uh, it's all out there, dude. I, it's a tale as old as time. Alright, what do I do here, dude? How am I supposed to win this game? like outvalue them here it's quite tough We got lots of value, chat. Will it be enough? I went 100% would have preferred a brand nerf over an Odin nerf. Dude, this is, this is the world we live in. Of like, Odin was clearly the more powerful card in the meta. But then, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Am I gonna die, dude? I'm probably gonna die. Do I have, like... my Wait, I, I I just gotta draw Inquisitive Creation. We're fine, bro. Kind of illegal. Rand wasn't even good, dude. Don't know. This is like the world we live in, where dude, you have a deck. This is why it's like hard to sometimes like take nerf seriously, because it's really more of like a popularity contest and who can. Uh, who can make the most emotional case for these decks are evil? Um, 
So, like, for example, if you tell a heartfelt story about how uh, a deck ruined your marriage, um, that's going to get uh, people talking, you know? All right, give me Blizzard, bro. Sucks. Oh, God. I don't know, dude. What do I do here? I don't know, dude. I'm dying. Uh, I'm just going to concede here. I just, I just don't think I can... <laughs> Brad's left with my right. All right, chat. Regression to the mean. It always comes. Feels bad, man. First course, I have way too OP. <laughs> You will know endless torment. There's nothing I should worry about, right, Arthas? Why does it want me to keep this card? That's interesting. You can't use Reno in this deck. Okay, so this is now... Um, so uh, this deck has two powerful clears of Inquisitive. But, okay. You could run Reno in this deck. Um, in my country at least right like the government wouldn't prevent you um so it's totally okay to run a card that isn't that good and lose more um you can do that there's nothing to do the law can do to, to stop you so right <laughs> i prefer post -harm goblin core chad they, 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 they did have that famous lawsuit you know it was uh it was Jones versus uh, Jones versus Smith, where they they tried to make that law, and uh, the government ruled it unconstitutional. You know, so. Why I have such a mess of sense of humor that I think that's funny, dude. Weapon of freezing you got there. 
would be a shame. I listened to ETC before he was cool. Double sif here. We're kind of just wrecking them here, dude. Look how much damage we've done without even like playing sif, bro. I could really use the reverberations right now. Unholy symbol of death. Okay. Don't I just like have lethal here? Yeah. No sip necessary, right? Are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, what's what, dude? Check. Tell me what's 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 new and dramatic in the Hearthstone world. I'll take adjacent worlds. I'll take like Path of Exile. I'll take like what's dramatic or to this week. We got Demon Hunter being too powerful. Dude, somebody should make uh the Hearthstone drama newsletter, dude. 
Brit is full on defending Demon Hunter. Ooh. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, let me find it. Let me find it. Or, or death, send me, uh, like, is it, is it, ma is it like off? I kind of, kind of find that interesting. I don't know, I don't have a strong opinion on Demon Hunter, even though it's probably too strong, but I, 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 as a man of the people, I try to form my opinions. What will her still, wait, next next target be? Wait, what is this? Town was absolutely busted, need nerfed. Old was absolutely busted, can I stay? Place your best next enemy, is a very priest, uh, ridiculous hat. It's, my vote is for wheel lock. There always is going to be a class on top. Ooh, so this is, these are really good. Um, all right, let's see. Zilix, the free armor generator. Uh, this age like milk. Um, I don't know. Demon Hunter win rate post patch. Okay. Those solves any problem. I'm not seeing these these full on defending stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm reading the Reddit. All right. Let me see. Evil draws close. I wonder. Hmm. Our hand's insane, by the way. A lot of comments, okay. Stone to perfection. I mean, people could start hitting like like uh, Window Shopper or McTheridon, right? Ooh, this slows them down a whole turn. That's so huge. You've created a temporal anomaly. Wait, we might just win here, dude. I kind of like playing the secret because um, I don't know, just throws them off. Thank you, Bob. That toy was made just for me. And the perfect day for you. I'm just like, the only reason I'd be anti-Demon Hunter is it's hard to play Wheel Warlock in a Demon Hunter world, right? But it's just like, you you can only really, against Demon Hunter, you can only play decks that uh, have armor gain. Um, decks that don't have good armor gain or just get wrecked by Demon Hunter historically. <clears throat>
just for me. <sighs> Let's go, dude. Zero mana window shopper. Let's go. It worked out. <laughs> and I get a zero mana 6-5 demon. <laughs> a demon? Demonios? Demonios! Ah, uh, this is coming. That was made just for me. Hmm. Is it one amalgam band or is it like maybe it's just observer myths? Fire Mage and Fire Warlock. I've already done Fire. What do you guys think it is here? Um, <clears throat> I wonder. I can play like secrets. Yeah, secrets are probably annoying. I kind of want to slam the Cadgar down, to be honest. Wait, this is insane with this. Okay. Nice. That was actually good. Dude, if they get stuck in my third on, I'm gonna cry, dude. Cause it's like it just wrecks me. But I wait, if they get play it, play it, play it, play it. Play the second Metherodon, dude. I get a zero mana one. Leo Warlock win. Explain why Hearthstone players are morally bankrupt. Um oh, look at this, man. It's huge. It's a, the 12-12 one. Let's go. Um, all right. Um, I, I don't. I, I actually, Hearthstone players aren't morally bankrupt. It's it's demon hunters that are morally bankrupt. Uh, remember, chat. The deck we're going. Wait, that just did <laughs> It's kind of dumb. <clears throat> dude, that's what I mean, dude. Cadgar is not the friend you rely on, but he's a good friend still. I'm 35, Dread Eye, dude. So freaking old, dude. Yeah. I don't know. Chad, I got a few more years before before the before the Black Death takes me. I don't know, dude. Also, like I work in entertainment now, which is like it's like a young people's industry. I don't know. So just like. Wait, reborn on McTheridon. We'll just freeze it forever. We'll be okay. 
Dude, these big pterodons are kind of illegal. Alright, um... I just always get these, right? Mysterious orb, what is your wisdom? Make it so they can't get mirror image here. Wait, that could have killed them, their McTheridon, and it would have been bad for me. <clears throat> question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't know. Is that Frostbolt? Oh, dude, it did. Frostbolt and, like, McTheridon, like, the, 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 the technology isn't there, dude. So unfortunately, so chat, there are limits to technology. For example, we still don't really think like know how to make wormholes. All right. Um, wait, oh, I should have. So like there are wormholes in this world. We still don't know how to make them work. Wait, I can reverberations there make their on here, right? Dude, what is this game and why is it so illegal? No always think of the red walking buddy. Ooh, this is kinda good, right? Discover me a sif. Chat, if you don't know who Norris is, who's the first player ever to finish number one on three ser on three servers? Uh, top competitive player, content creator, makes great tier lists on Twitter. Go check him out. Lethal. That's right. Got him. Dude, what a game was that, dude? Dude, what kind of shenanigans? Like, I'm pretty sure both of us had like, like, to, to, in total there were like nine McTheridons, dude. <laughs> Chat, what, what what immorality is this? Who thought this was okay? Jaina versus Valira. Wicked Ram, thank you for the tier one. Get all that stuff training, so much Wicked Ram. 
Why is it like uh, this? I don't think I... Uh, I think I... I kind of like peeking Glyph. wonder why it doesn't like me keeping Glyph in the Mulligan. I feel like it doesn't make sense. Like, it makes sense to, like, have a nice turn two. And get your arcane spell out of the way. <laughs> I mean, uh, who's laughing now? Still, them. I think there's no minions. Repeat this. This is such a bad card. I'll just take a discovery. Just choose more. <sighs> Well, let's just nature it up here, then. Wait, why did I not take Light Bomb, dude? That was like spells. I mean, to be honest, I don't know, but like, I should have taken Light Bomb there. This is good play, though, but Light Bomb was better. Yeah. Is someone there? Nope, nobody there. Chat, I did the play that, okay, when when I teach people Hearthstone, like, what I try to get them to do is to take this card and not take Light Bomb. Because when you, like, when people start Hearthstone, they're like, oh, why would I, why, why would I take that card? Because this is, this is Light Bomb, dude. Like, like, it's, like, you know. And then you got to teach them, like, all right, uh, there's more to life than Light Bombs, you know. Mm. What do I want here? I can't, I guess uh, it's kind of bad though. I mean, to be honest, this is like decent, but. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Casey. Someone there? Nope, nobody there. Bro, look at like these these S tier freaking. All right, let's see how it is. Be honest, like might have uh, won me the game not picking light bomb. Be honest. No, dude. Wait. Barely alive hands gamer chat. Oh my god, dude. Can frostbolt this to give myself another free turn. Um, best top deck, it's probably reverb here. 
One second, I got. Yeah, I think it's a tough turn. I wanna, I wanna make sure I don't throw it. I could fireball this. Um... This is very good for future turns, right? Um, yeah, I think I just fireball this so I don't have to deal with it on a future turn. Um, but Artesia, I think, with the prime. Get such a thing as Artesia. Son of a gun, dude. So many Wind Furies. Is the Force Man spell one good? Yeah, it's insane. Pocket. Um, I mean, it gets Demon Hunter. Like, so you just free, you just go Frostbolt into their weapon, and then you kill like make a Water Elemental, and then it just ruins their complete opening. Um, so like you you can beat you can beat the nuts against Demon Hunter because of this card. Like it just forces too much, um, and then by the time they get their guy, you go Sleepbreaker, and so like if you have like a good hand, the only way Cryo seems reasonable too. Um, I mean, do you if if you run uh, instead of the water elemental though, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I like the tempo of the water elemental. Um, Cryo seems good too though. Keyboard is sucked, dude. I I could see cutting a keyboard. Um, yeah, there's no there's no uh, cold case anymore. That was like the card, so there's just not good card spells to go with keyboard. So I could see cutting keyboard. I feel like I should keep this. I don't know. Could have kept both frost bolts there. What do you take here? You could cold feed at the right turn. Like, through the fell in the frames is the most, like, it's a fell. I think I'm just gonna take the fell, but. Cold, like, the other one, you could, like, just block it a whole turn, right? Which is kind of good. Oh, this sucks. I have to frostbolt this. I'm just taking too much damage, but. Church tomorrow with the parents. I like can't afford to leave that up. It's going to deal too much damage. But now this happens, right? Done something fancy there. I missed. I missed that. Hey, oh, bro. Dude, am I just gonna lose to this? <laughs> oh, god, chat. This could be the end. These are suck like really badly. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna die. At least it has two life, so it's easier to kill next turn. But I 
Zuliax is more cancer than pre-nerf Astalor. Dude, th this is like... Dude, the recency bias is absurd. Like, dude, do you know pre-nerf Astalor, dude? Do you remember? Like, can, can I teleport you back in time? Dude, I, I want, like, somebody to be this, you know? <laughs> like, people who say, like, just utter nonsense like this. They're just like, I think they have, like, something, like... They have this, like... <laughs> chat, you know, being a streamer was more difficult than like fighting in world war ii because i have to deal with comments like this <laughs> see i can do it too chat all right i can say a bunch of nonsense dude i'm so dead uh what line possibly wins here ah oh, gosh dang it Hyrules? Hit this. Well, face, that's what I really needed, bro. I'm just dead, dude. Peter of Sight. Dude. This is lost a game. Dude. Dude, uh, you know what would be fun about like if, if I ever I don't think I would with my personality but uh, it'd be fun if like like if I you know I was like running <laughs> running her stone and then people were like we like we hate this deck it feels bad to play against and then I openly came out and said like we think your suffering like is good for the game <laughs> So we've decided that you're uh, a worthy sacrifice. Uh, it's just something like that, you know? <laughs> Threads of Despair, dude, that is a good, it's a good card. Thank you. Uh, that's what I get. I think I have to kill this. It's too dangerous to left alive. But I mean, I have discoveries, so I want. I would like to get my Sif fully invoked. I have to remember. I probably should keep Flame Elemental in hand, right? Um, play around Dirty Rat. Hmm. If I had known I was gonna top deck that. Bro, this card is completely worthless. <laughs> Dude, what is how terrible these are, chat? I will never be able to play this. Plagues, ah, I take cash strike here, right? Oh my god, dead. <laughs> like, I don't have divine shield minions. I've used both my discoveries now, so I probably have to like go molten runes for random cards and nonsense. Thank you, Pepo. Some good glyphy boys. Ooh, I could take another stargazing. Ooh, one mana molten is too insane. That's like a win condition. Uh, ooh, do I take the immediate infantize here? Yeah, I think I do. Start infantizing here. I guess if I time this right. I mean, the other cards are terrible, right? So we'll never like. Our... <clears throat> Uh, 
Thank you. Dude, my hand is too much like fluff. Do you write your own code as a least source for chat? Yeah, they're local, dude. Um, yeah. Most I kind of like this just as like an intermediate play. Like if they don't play Odin, it's like a, just a powerful play. Though it's probably wisdom, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, sunset here. Like next turn, if they play Odin, I can't go sunset, which sucks, right? I miss no hands. Birthday bonanza. Big spells equals good. All right, we take it. They play a way. Wait, they just have a nothing turn. They got dirty rat me. Welcome to the grand tournament. Hey, but. Amazing. <laughs> Wait, but. My thanks. That's illegal. Rig up, take up. <laughs> Dude, that's actually. <laughs> this guy knows that. Uh... Dude, I did not. I did not see this coming, dude. Actually, pretty. Uh...
So five. This is awkward. I kind of have to like get rid of shit in my hand here. We just tempoed this, to be honest. How much damage does my Sif have right now? It's only at plus six spell damage. Uh, I kind of need nature, but I have some good shit though. Um, Dude, I have infinite cry observations and they just never like My opponents just like never <laughs> They never play Odin So it's like kind of pointless, right? I'm waiting for them to play Odin But I can freeze their face for like eight turns in a row They don't need Odin Okay, I, uh, getting another spotlight chat. Dude, I can't deal with this card, dude. Ruining my life. I'm just waiting for them to play Odin. One man at Unar. One man at Unar. It's free. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, what is, what is this game, dude? Alright, they're gonna have to play Odin eventually. And then I'll start freezing their face. I'm really doubting they vote. Well, dude, 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 how do they like? How do they win then? Dude, I could get three spotlights. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't use your head. Let's go, mirror images, dude. But if I just like control the board forever, you know? Uh, I need an Inquisitor though. I'm gonna win this, right?
I can do crime deprivation forever, dude. Alright, well. I could also, like, draw the rest of my deck. I don't know. Do you believe in zodiac signs? Um, so, zodiac signs are something that uh, people think exists, so I do believe in them. Yeah. Reverb on Salesman is good against Warrior. I could have done that, to be honest. Yeah. Kind of made sense, to be honest. Um. That was an error. What to do? What to do? Not bad. Dude, I don't even know who's winning this.
Chad, I can get two sifts now. Um, do I ever? I kind of like all the cards in my hand. Yeah, I could do a sif and then do another sif, right? So I don't know. Might overdraw here. I think I'm okay with it. Dude, the temporary ones are bad, dude. It's like Jaina's gift off this card is so bad. Two sifts at the same time. I don't even know who's winning this game. But most of my deck sucks. So, only card I want to top deck is Miracle Salesman here. Still two damage spell, yeah, but... Like, they gain more armor than... No one is winning this game. Dude, I don't know. We'll see. Oh. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> Wait, now I can... Wait, I can... I can steal this. I can steal this jerkwad and then do it myself. Wait, what? That is the play, dude. All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yes, chat. Astonishing. And I get like tons of excavation chat now. How old are you going to be in this game more? It's been... Chat, what's that? It's been 52. Right, son of a... Right. These were kind of illegal. I mean, this getting buffed was kind of illegal. Wait, what are you... What are you doing here? A great way. Oh, I could actually use this, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, hold 
Hey, uh, they just go infinite on me, bro? Oh, they do. Okay, that's not good. Well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go in? I can get um, a nature spell for my next Sif, right? Right, but uh, I can get a swipe. I don't know. They haven't played Odin. I think I'm just going to freeze uh, this. Probably not worth it. Do I have a reverber? I have a. Uh, if I can dump enough cards, I can reverberations and then steal this, right? Or I can reverberations and steal their Finley. Uh, wait, steal steal their Fizzle. Um. Okay, and then, but the problem is my hand is so full of clutter here that like I don't get a lot of my stuff, right? But I do know, so I can reverberations this guy. Take that. All right, let's take the bird. Let's see what we get here. Let's see if we get something good. Wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Okay, this is what Pocket Train was telling me about. Okay, okay. Um. I think we're gonna win this chat. I just have a feeling. I don't know. Um, we can still just use Sif for raw damage here. I hope you get benefits from this. Happy B Day, man. Favorite HS streamer. Thank you for doing what you do. Thank you for the 300 bits. Oh, is no birthday sex call? I was going to, and I'm kind of just want to stay home. Um, but it would be fun. There is a bit big sex cult thing, but. <laughs> Dude! Dude! We want that! We 
won that, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, bro, that was, that was, that was great. <laughs> this is better than birthday sex. <laughs> this copy card, yeah, it did. Because we got the, the digital value. But that's the art of the scam, bro. Yeah, this is why it's like that game is a testimony of like why you hang in there in her stone because so differently than how I would. Yeah, we have I mean, we have such naturally different styles pocket. Uh, you know, it's uh, I mean, your style is better than mine. I just like my style better. Like your style is more likely to win games, but it's just kind of how I like to play the game, you know? That's like one of the annoying things about like playing like high, like at the absolute highest competitive of the game. <laughs> or conceded if I missed. Light sings and the impure fall. Well, I thought they were they were like going to do Odin's eventually and they just never did Odin's, dude. You know, it was like I'm like, what's going on here? Okay, our hands. Our hands actually insane here. Their deck was just nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was. Did I? I actually love that style of Hearthstone, where somebody has like an absurd amount of defenses, and you just like just plow through. You know. Um, I think it's underrated like I don't know like where I it, it's kind of uh, I kind of like Goku and Dragon Ball Z where I power up and then I like want Frieza to like get 100% power so it's more satisfying when I win you know Who, what's like a like an anime character that just kills people like where like pocket trains like uh, Indiana Jones in the where he just like shoots the guy, <laughs> you know. Uh. <laughs> we forgot the sword to get shot. Yeah, apparently that guy, like, that guy, like, trained all this time to be, like, have a great sword fight with Indiana Jones, and they took it away from him, and he was so sad. But the irony, this is kind of like, it's kind of like an interesting thing about life, right? Um, he was really sad that he lost out, like, the thing he wanted to do. Um, but because of, like, him losing out, he's actually super famous where like people will remember him forever where they wouldn't remember him forever if he had just gotten in that sword fight you know like everyone remembers that scene it's like so Have they got enough dragons to kill me? I don't think they have. I'm just gonna yellow face here. Yeah. 
any problem. Created a temporal anomaly. Action. Act. Perfection. I see you. I just have lethal, right? I don't have the signature version of Pip. Oh, warriors in chat to say GG. Oh, which one? I did. I missed that death. It was a. Uh... Korean Radish. Oh, dude. Oh, happy birthday. All right. <laughs> Korean Radish, dude. That was, uh, that was a pretty crazy game. GG. Bro, this is my punish, dude. Chat, never. I mean, by punished, I mean never punished, bro. I have no idea how to play this mage deck. It's not that hard. Um, this deck is easy because it has what for players. Because if you, if you know how to control the board, it has very well-defined win conditions. What do I mean by well-defined win conditions? You might say, Mr. Streamer. Um, wait, ooh. Keeper strength is insane, but like, this is better because like, I can play it right now. Keeper is awkward how to pull off. So. Well-defined win conditions is a very clear path to victory. Aggro usually is the easiest well-defined win condition. You curve out 
you play it, you get ahead on board, you l utilize your board and tempo advantage to go for a win before your opponents can stop you. And if your opponents are bad players, it's very easy to do this. Um, <clears throat> Ooh, this is an interesting, because Cry, Cry of Dervation is insane, but so is Arcane Intellect because I get to play it and I really want to just draw my good cards, I think. Okay, this is good, right? Was it a rerun? Yeah, I... Well, I learn... I learn little routines, dude. I learn how to explain something. And I say it again. It's not... You know... It's not, it's not, uh, it's not like some weird conspiracy, all right? It just, that's how it is. So, you know, that makes sense. you wanted to say oh yeah so it's got a well-defined win conditions so players can do well with this deck that you know you don't need to be pocket trained to win with the deck all right you just like spend your mana you control the board you don't let your opponent get too ahead all right while you try to play all your all your spells and you eventually draw sif and you shoot them in the face dude easy dude Okay, I think I'll take um Screw it, I'm just gonna Tempo out here. Problem. <clears throat> Our minions cost one less. Uh, I got a randomly generated nature spell that uh, reduces all the attack on my minions, but also the uh, the cost. So quite good with the deck. We're gonna have a five mana sift if we draw it. So I'm just waiting for Casey to commit over here. He keeps not committing. There he goes. All right, Mr. Casey. Let's see what you got. I can just kill one of these. Vampire timer, yeah, he's German. Um, why not send the rusher back? I want you to answer your own question, Flying. So, what is better, All right? An eight mana eight eight with rush, or zero mana eight eight? When my opponent has tons of cards, what do you think? Do I want to spend a, send him back a card? Um, yeah. So, well, so when I get rid of this one, the issue is they can go break dance on the 8 8 and then play it again. Where they break dance this, it's not very good. So, we definitely want the regular playhouse back in their hand. 
too soon. Um, they can still, well, it's more, no, if they had the 8-8 on board versus the, this 8-8, right? They didn't have, we didn't know if they had the second one in hand. So let's say they have the, if I, if I leave this one on board and they top deck, uh, break dance, they can play the break dance and then replay this where if they break dance the normal 8-8, then, then they have an awkward 8-8 in their hand. You know, Makes sense. So it just killed it. Yeah. So I basically would rather kill this than kill the other one. This kind of play too, right? Hmm, that's bad though. Bro. Wait, did he actually bait me so he could do this double stealth play? Oh my god. Is, is it Casey? Is it, wait, do I just have lethal though? Do you have another stealthy boy? Because I'm just going to freeze it and gain life, you know? Mm. Oh, I see. Alright, I think I just gained a ridiculous amount of armor here. I can't go face, he's got taunted. There's the wind fury, bro. We've created a temporary... Saw this one coming. Go face with the spell. I'm gonna clear the board and I'm gonna win. And uh yeah. So Wow, I actually needed that life. It's crazy, dude. I might have lead a little bit. Let's just take the win. Um, got him. Right. Got him.
You asked for it. Let him pay list. No! I literally traded it last turn. That's such bullshit, chat. Oh my god, dude. I would have just pinged. Chat, why is this game rigged, right? Oh my god, dude. Like, dude. Ugh. Kind of. Dude, I'm just taking so much just raw damage here. This is brutal. Turn an enemy minion to your hand. Burn your deck, you still have damage. Copy it. Yeah, it's probably this. This is kind of good. Bro, you just have all your burn and like I'm just gonna die to this like oh my god dude Like I don't want to go freaking sleet skater on this, but I kind of have to That toy was made just, just for me Just for me and the perfect champion! Should I mulligan hard for Sif? Um, no. Most of the time, don't, don't even keep Sif, dude. Yeah. Oh, shouldn't have even taken this. <laughs> Looking for cat card. Dude, true. Skater. Should I hard mold get with skater? Skater is a key in a lot of matchups, all right? Mysterious. Chat, should you hard mulligan for Twitch Prime, all right? So awkward. So I just can't afford to die. About to use my my like premium resource here. Uh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Wait, they're running dirty rat. I'm the perfect 
Tende pivi tivi, é. I mean, technically, every card is optional. Um, though, you will, right now, um, even though it's, some argue it's unconstitutional, um, if you run this deck without Sif, you will be arrested. Um, there's people protesting and saying the government can't do that, but um, they're doing it anyways, because you deserve to be locked up. Sorry, but not sorry. Could go for a one drop here. How do I win this, bro? So dead. So freaking dead, dude. What are you drinking bro i'm drinking some h2o dude so <laughs> for those you don't know h2o is like a uh, it's hydrogen but like two atoms of it <laughs> and oxygen and this uh, <laughs> this forms a chemical compound known on earth as water <laughs> It's very popular, all right? Wait, bro. Why didn't I go freaking void thing last turn? Oh. Illegal. <laughs> What's that like? Have you guys in science fiction? There's a lot of like methane life. Uh, they're methane monsters, like the 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 creature from Aliens on made out of methane, right? Do you know Tom 60229 personally? No, I do not. Um, I've interacted very little with him, but I do know he was a world champion, so I did watch I did watch him win. Who wants to play? You asked for it. Do you know Tom 60228? Do me and Tom 60228 go way back, dude? This was really good at the previous game. Um, against, uh, wait, this is... D this is Death Knight. Why did I think this was... 
Dude, I thought this was Demon Hunter, dude. So I took this, like, to beat Demon Hunter? Bruh. That was a questionable line. Dude, the card pocket train thinks is broken, dude. This is like good value. Yeah, I kind of want this. I could play it on six. I did rate it four stars, dude. Got that right. I did not get um I did not get wheel right. But wheel is probably not a four star card. It's probably like a three. I mean it is a build around. But it hasn't like Do another one and The battle. Two hundred reverb is pretty good. I think it's like a good win condition for Sif, right? Is that deck legit? Yep. The record is your opponent. Um, it's somewhere in the settings. Uh, just go in the settings. But uh, I don't want to distract the stream from that. Uh, you can figure that out. But it's like you got to go into the settings on the left. So. suck um do i really like tumbleweed no uh take this is useless but it's a nature spell i don't know what to do here
So this is frost wait frost stopper um molten uh, i don't know like molten rude um does things there could be a better card i don't i don't have a strong opinion on it um or molten rude also gives you value which can matter like it's a way to get uh, other spells other than discovery magic so nomad farmer they give the 40 months thank you get on such anything so much nomad farmer Manage, manage over your party. I know a guy, dude. I we could have. I already had it. So next time. And that's unfortunate. That's a lot of heal. Did I throw by not playing the uh, snake oil? I was a little afraid of uh, getting um, ratted there. How much damage do I have here now? This is 14? 14? No, it looks like I have it exactly right. 14, 16, 32. Yeah. I didn't play the snake oil salesman. Uh, I didn't play the snake oil salesman because I thought I likely had lethal next turn. I didn't do the full calculation, uh, but I thought I had lethal next turn and the only way I could get stopped was dirty rat. So by not playing it, I, uh, you know, increased my likelihood of beating dirty rat. Um, and we did have lethal still, even with the, with their heals play. So was probably the correct play mathematically. <sighs> Alright, I got an overexplained game coming up. Overexplained game, Rebel gets a Demon Hunter. Um, my opinion, uh, Frost Cross Stitch is one of the best cards against Demon Hunter. I'm considering keeping Invitize the Maxitude because it's a decent turn to play, but I, I think I might be better off looking for things like Frostbolt and Cosmic Keyboard here. Um, so I'm gonna throw them away, I'm not sure. But this, this is the card to, to win. Um, for some reason, I don't know if I, I buy this, but I do buy this. Uh, I don't buy this, but it's that good. All right, here, Miracle Salesman. This is a great turn one play. Um, allows us to develop tempo uh, and allows us to get a snake oil that we can either use for Sif later or just to trade to, to better cards. Uh, though, 
Um, so I could go Flame Geyser and trade this off or ping. Um, I'm not really sure. So the nice thing about Flame Geyser uh, is, but, um, but I think I slightly prefer ping here. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, it just conserves value. Uh, but I, I could see Flame Geyser being correct there. I just don't really feel like thinking about it that long. This seems reasonable. Um, they got the weapon here, unfortunately, though. Um, yeah. All right, I'd like to have... So I'm going to trade here because I have a better chance of hitting Frostbolt than by doing, than doing Discovery here. Um... So I've decided this. I think I'm going to save my Flame Geyser. I'm going to go my Discovery. Um, we hit another Frost Lich. I could take this Fell card too. Uh, I could also take this Lightning Storm. They're actually all decent choices. Um, and I'm really not sure what the best play is here. Uh, so, you know what? Are, you know what? I, I, think it's, I think it's Smokestack. Because if they go the 6-5 and trade on my Miracle Salesman, I have a nice Reverberations plus Smokestack clear. And that's the most likely play for next turn. So by having an answer to their 6-5 immediately, uh, it allows me to neutralize their tempo advantage. Uh, otherwise, I'm up. Um, when they have a very likely play and I don't have a play for it, uh, that's a bad thing. Where this allows me to get my Fell, it gets me an Excavate card. Um, so it does a lot of good things for us here. Um, even though, you know, this is the, the typically stronger card, uh, having a card that's really good for next turn is very valuable. So now I'm going to go Reverberations on this. This makes it have one health effectively. Uh, and then I go this, uh, which kills it. And it gives me a card, uh, which happens to be Pouch of Coins, which is great. Because now that enables me to go Kaggar next turn. I don't have to go Kaggar, but if they do a weak play, it's really nice to have this option. Because this is a slow value card. A slow value card... Um, is effectively, uh, you know, let's say you go on vacation and you want to buy a package that gets you free alcohol for the next week. Well, if you're if you're going uh, away next the next day, well, then you don't really need that. But if you're going to be there for a whole another week, uh, it's a great deal. So um, I'm going to go pouch of coins here, uh, like I said, to get two coins, and then I get to play out the Cadgar. This gets me a lot of value, and I have a lot of time. They don't have a weak, strong board except for their McTheridon. So this gets us just a lot of stuff. We already got a counter spell. Um, so not only do we get the 5-5, five five, but we get a bunch of spells. Even though they're random, they're still kind of good. Um, you know, like so. You get an Ice Bear, you gain 8 life, you get a Frostbolt on a minion, uh, stuff like that. This is the Mage Deck win condition. Uh, the Mage Deck win condition is kill them. Put their life so... You want to see they're at 24 life. We need to make that one less 24 more times. We could do it in bigger clumps too. So that's our win condition. Uh, get this life down to zero. Um, now, but the problem is if our opponent puts our life down to zero, it makes it harder to put their life down to zero because you can't play the game once your life goes down to zero. So we also have to like stop them from putting our life down to zero, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's too complicated, but let me know in the comments. Um, so, all right, I have to decide what I want to do this turn. Um, I think I want to clear this Jerkwad, uh, so I'm just going to spend all my mana. I'm going to do this. Uh, I will eat the Frost Lich. This gets me uh, a Ward Elemental, and Ward Elementals are hella annoying for Demon Hunter. And I'm going to play the Flame Elemental. I could have traded the Snake Oil, but uh, I'd rather spend developing. This is a nice pickup. Clears their board. Um, you know, we'd rather go face there, to be honest, but there are benefits of killing this Window Shopper. They can't bounce it back, so...
All right. Um, I tried to trade. So, um, I think I want. So this is two secrets, but these go at the end of the turn. So my inquisitive creation always can clear this. So I think I'm gonna go face first. Not ice barrier, and then I go inquisitive, and um, um, this is nice. This worked out. Ah, I took a lot of damage to be honest here, but I did freeze her face, and then afterwards I'm going to trade this to get a better card, and bam. My order was technically incorrect, but I can live with that. Um, so we got a water elemental. They have a frozen face. We have 18 life, but we're doing okay. All right. Streamers heaven. Um, only if we played good moral decks like Control Priest. All right. If you play dirt, uh, you know, like you have to play good high value control decks. All right. If you play like a any sort of OTK, now if you did some like cards, the decks that are kind of like on the uh, son of a gun, dude. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get rat trapped. All right, I'm in big trouble, chap. Um, because I'm probably gonna get rat trapped here. Um, I just gotta play cards here. I'm probably getting rat trapped. I'm gonna take Blizzard. Cause I can clear, I can clear, but I don't really want to attack face. Uh, I guess I could just frostbolt this. Um, so I can say alive turn. Mm. Ooh, skitterbot's nice. Okay, I'm just gonna frostbolt here or blizzard here. Um, I'm afraid to go face because of freeze freezing trap, so I'm gonna pass. <laughs> now the other blizzard, bro. That's how it works. Was freezing trap? Okay. <laughs> Those do I keep for Sif? Um, just some damage. Um, I think if you start off, don't worry about like overusing cards. Um, like when you're up against like a war, like a life gaining class, you sometimes have to. But usually, if you're just kind of like you keep like. You know, you don't use your snake oils. And you have like a flame geyser. Like it's often you can get a kill, you know, so. Keep Blizzard for sip board clear, dude. Keep you in the chat for great comments. at <laughs> strategies, dude. Um. So I want to gain a lot of life here. I'm very afraid. Um, let me think. So I want to spend six mana on these jerk buds. Um, I can go face and freeze it. Uh, so I'm going to do this twice. I guess I should do this first here. Um, all right. I hit. Um, I could do taunts, but I think I just want to smite here. Uh, smite seems just really convenient. Um, taunts are a little less convenient because uh, I get to kill this. Uh, I'm just gonna freeze their face for security here, or freeze this again because I just I'm 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 very much ahead in some ways. But wait, no, dude. Wait, oh, good thing I double fr froze though, because because I double froze, I don't I might not get another chance to heal there. So I uh, yeah. Wait, they didn't attack. <laughs> All right, my pony that I gave up did.
this get up. Victory or death. You asked for it. <laughs> Rank are you now 140? Slayer, they get the 25 gift subs. One second, let me just finish up my turn, dude. Get in that go room. Thank you so much, Ghost Slayer, for the 25 gift subs. Chat, if you just got a gift sub from Gold Slayer. Show, show the goat some hype. Make sure you use that goat emote. Thank you so much, Gold Slayer. You are almost up to 1,000. Uh, we had 983 gift subs. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Frozen. <laughs> I haven't seen that one, do you guys? <laughs> Happy birthday, thank you, Wolf. Did you want to break the Demon Hunter meta? Did you just keep sending your mana, dude? Can people demand wheel? Uh, I'm, I did, did, okay. If I could ban Demon Hunter, I would play wheel. But dude, playing wheel warlock is just not going to be fun. Because it's just going to be like uh, getting wrecked by uh, Demon Hunters over and over again. Ooh, nature. That's good. Uh, wheel's good. Uh, wheel has reasonable stats, um, but they're not gonna, not as good as Demon Hunter. I think I just overdraw here. These aren't how I want to win. Alright, uh, this is the...
Chat, one more big, big shout out to Goat Slayer for the 25 gift subs. Chat, if you got a gift sub from Goat Slayer, make sure to give a goat, uh, send a goat email. I'm looking at everybody who got a gift sub. Homie was taken. I see you in the chat a lot. Let's see, some names I don't recognize. But mate, if you're in there and you're not using one of them, I'm gonna be real mad, all right? All right. How do I win now? I lost my sift, dude. Most games of all time. It was very, it was very definitely a game. Um... Why did I do this? I kind of need that for her to clear their board later. I don't know. I'm drinking all this water, dude. Chad, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. But we molten ruin for Steve, they give the prime. Get out such anything so much, Steve. Ooh, we got a metamorphosis. That's some serious damage, right? I don't know. I'm gonna die, chat. I have to go to the bathroom. Play a good 10 mana weapon and I concede here. Yeah, that's, we're not gonna beat. We're not gonna beat that. That is um 78 health gain. That's 108 life swing on that weapon, that chat. 108 life.
Thank you, Retro. All right, I gotta take. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Chat. Druid is dead, right? We tried to play it earlier. It did not go well. But there's some evidence that Druid is on is, is still alive. Steak!
What is going on over there? Oh, we don't have to do it. It's against me. It is finished. Dude, what's going on? They're going to school, Minari. Are they playing Harsh Stormbrew, maybe? He has the degenerate for the deck list only if he shows up. I'm right, too close waiting for the queue. I just butter, dude. Just got some butter, bread and butter.
Maybe they're not clicking the Q button. Demonios. Demonios. Jaina versus Illithin. This ends now. Mm. You asked for it. We don't normally keep molten runes, but um seems like a good play with uh cause of a keyboard in hand here. Gives me a 3-3 and kills something. The start was kind of illegal. Dude, my opponent just played four different cards. It's turn freaking one, dude. Like, this hella illegal. Don't be Divine Shield. How about a Rush? How about a Taunt? I can do that one. Chad, look at their start and think remember this. I played a one drop and they still did all this. What is this game called? Ooh, this is really good. Three, four, five. Seems insane here. Of course they have weapon though. Of course. Oh, a good draw though. Very good draw. Why not kill the 2-2? Um, because this can get magnetized and this is tradable. Um, the, the extra health doesn't matter. Uh, because none of our- we don't- we're unlikely to have stuff that, uh, makes it matter, basically. So, by doing this, um, it's- it's slightly better in my opinion. If I think a, if they added Frost Jano here back in the standard, do you think it would see play? Yes, somebody would play it. Would it be remotely good? No. Keeps freezing praise though. Um, all the dude warrior has to do is clear the board and not give you easy one health minions to ping. So. So, I don't know if you were there, they brought back Frostless Jaina into Standard, and she was not good. So, if you wonder, like, this has already happened. Your question has already been a thing. That kind of looks like they got Freezy Boy.
It's more life though on preacher turns now. Bro, really bad. Should just play the seven man on one, dude. I don't know why I didn't. They always get both shoppers before turn six to seven. Are they never on the bottom of the deck? Uh, they mulligan and they are more lucky than you. Um, so I hate to break it to you, Gravy. This is the harsh truth that people don't want to hear. But 50% of people are, are unlucky on average. And amongst those, 50% of them are unlucky amongst the unluckies. So you might just be one of the unlucky people, dude. And if you're one of the unlucky people, like just statistically, it's it's inevitable, right? Like anyone who says this doesn't happen needs to learn some basic like math, because like there's going to be 25 percent of people in the world who are the 25 percent least lucky. Like that's how everything works. So if you're one of those people, um, hate to break it to you, but things are just not going to go well for you. So. A little bit of birthday humor. We got some. We got some jokes in the chat. <laughs> Don't have skill. Top deck frostbolt. Nope. He's gonna suck. Dude, animal dude, elemental companions, not gonna lie, terrible dude. Terrible card. Like I never feel good about playing three mana for it. Bro. Illegal. Oh, look at this fanciness, dude. Look at you with the fancy. How is it even possible? Stake. I'm the 
the perfect toy for you. Well, my opponent's not going to do anything. Put this jerk wad down. Pretty useless. A blunder. A blunder. This sucks, dude. Okay, my opponent's just being a bunch of jerkwad here. Like, what am I supposed to do here, dude? Oh my god, dude. I don't know, dude. This is good. Watch it go face, though. So fine. You suck. What am I even looking for here? I should have just gone my freaking arcane artificer here. So dead. Frostbolt face. Ice barrier actually could have gotten us there, but. There is no carryover, uh, <laughs> but like lifetime cog, like if we look at the lifetime luck of somebody, right? If we look at the lifetime luck, we could rate, in theory, rank everybody over their whole lives. So what I'm saying is the person might just be experiencing the beginning of a lifetime of bad luck, you know, which is obviously true, right? Dude, what is with these terrible options? Why can't I get like Ice Barrier here, bro? <laughs> Chad, it's basic. Chad, you guys ever read the plot like holes? This is like literally the plot of the book, right? Holes, anybody? You guys read that? <laughs> Fast and slow. I didn't read that, dude. The guy who wrote that uh, wrote that book died, I believe, uh, like this week or something. Dude, I only read Thinking Fast and Slow because it was like on a book list of like books you read if you want to be a smart person. And I was like, I want to be a smart person. I'm gonna read this book. <laughs> True story. So, oh, God, how do I win here? Dude, I had to really like focus on it. Like it was hard. It wasn't uh it wasn't easy for me. Bruh. Dude, dude, okay, not gonna lie, dude, it's been a giant letdown. This Frostbolt, Ice Barrier. You're on the spotlight. 
Wait, do they not have lethal here, dude? No way, dude. You have to be BMing me, right? Wow, no lethal, bro. Oh, dude, it was all BM. Dude. I guess, yeah. Uh... Kagar's <laughs> noob. Dude, Kagar, dude. Dude, I played perfectly that game. Dude, but Cadgar not so much, did. Yeah, this is why I, I I I hated playing doubles in tennis, you know, because sometimes you had a Cadgar, like a dude that was good overall, but you couldn't rely on him, you know. What a scumbag! They should be forced to play Demon Hunter forever as their punishment, but like once it gets nerfed, it's been well good for one game out of thirty-one. You must have not been here earlier in the stream. Dangerous Cadgar was insane earlier. You don't need them. I don't feel like you need to craft them. How do you think Demon Hunter will be nerfed? Uh, they might just lower the stats of a uh, Window Shopper by a bunch. I don't know. They could, they could lower the attack on the weapon. I mean, if they just lower the overall burn of the deck, that's going to make a big difference. Bro. This play was kind of illegal. Yeah, so, something's gonna get reduced. I mean, I kind of like the the reduce a minion by two. It just for window shopper, it's too good. But I mean, really, also like just them getting eighty McTheridons is really what beats you. <laughs> at the end of the day, when it just they're when they're just like a one McTheridon gamer, the deck is just not that crazy. Wait, crap, okay. Weapon was a 2-3, ooh! Now that is the kind of nerf that, 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 that is a smart nerf AA. Because like, that kind of keeps the overall, like, theoretical power, but it slows down the tempo. I didn't think about that, I'm, I'm a big fan. You gotta go work on the Blizzard design team after that, alright, just so you know. Uh, Thanks, right now, the rank there, dude. 
Everybody thinks that they want to work for a gaming company until you realize you're going to like work insanely hard. You're going to not get paid. And then like you're going to get paid way less than you would in other things. And then everyone on Reddit and Twitter is going to blame you for everything. <laughs> and then <laughs> while well, Bobby and me are at the sex cult uh, drinking champagne. All right. <laughs> I was playing around Rat Trap there, if you're wondering. Thank you, Not. Don't use your head. Wait, what the heck is this terrible hand they have? Uh, I'm the perfect over here. This door was made just for me. <laughs> I'm the perfect over here. So this is 16, 22 damage from hand here. So. And the perfect time here. Order a good top decks. Card draw, probably. A lot of bad top decks. A lot of bad top decks here. Need some value. Stargazing would be great. Uh, so close to killing him. Flame Geyser's lethal. Does that get there? I'm gonna use it. Even though. Reality. <laughs> 
Is Reno Shaman viable? Yes, but is it consistent? Um, we saw stats of Reno Shaman. It looked good. We played it. Did utterly atrociously. But I'm just one guy, so who knows? Mysterious Bad. Those solves any problem. I could go for it. Um, I lose to multiple things though, which I don't like. So, yeah, I would have lost to that. Wait, okay. So it's actually, it's really bad. It's like really bad to give a zero man one of those. Um, that's bold, I guess. Do you magic with the oh, magic? Yeah. Jaina versus Tyrande. You give me strength. You asked for it. Hang in, hang in, hang in, The impure fall. Oh, that was lucky. I think that one's way better than like.
starting the operation. To tilt is that happened to me. This is this is a pretty good. Uh, I look. I feel like we're about a, like a fifty-eight percent favorite against Demon Hunter. It's pretty good. I feel like killing this better than going Sleet Skater because I don't want them to power cord synchronize it. A temporal anomaly. All right, Kagar. Don't let me down. Don't be <laughs> That's the first time I've gotten a flame strike from him, chat. Oh, that was great, dude. dude Kagar, once in a while, he comes and clutch, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, I did not expect that, dude. Problem when uh, you're thinking Kelt is uh, dangerous, right? Starting the operation. The time
Dude, man, just man, that uh, man, jigs. Jaina versus Illithin. This ends now. You asked for it. From the day, I'm sure improvements can be made. This is it's too wide of a question, dude. It, it, like, I, uh, it, it's just one of those, like, all encompassing questions. Um, of course, improvements can be made. But also, we could betray things out and make the deck worse, right? So that's. But also, the meta will change, which will force changes, right? So. Do you have any shaman deck? I mean, what does that mean? Do I do I own the rights? Uh, we were playing Highlander Shaman earlier. It wasn't very good. But uh, there is a Highlander Shaman list out there. You might do better than with me. Um, we saw some... Uh, there might be Nature Shaman lists. They're, they might not be good. Uh, I haven't really had time. Because the mana just changed. I had took it the other day off. To really evaluate the strength of certain decks, so... Just 
risky, but I just want to be <clears throat> spending mana. Is this the best counter to Demon Hunter right now? Um, Warrior might be a better counter. It's pretty good though. It's some of the, some of your questions are just like unclear right now because it's like um, too early basically. It's not good though. Oh my god, this is bad, dude. Okay, that was really bad. Um, ooh, Skater's great though. Skater, I can just procrastinate for a turn. It's not good. Uh, whatever. Master Nixie, you think of the raid, welcome, buddy. I should have just not done that um, for the last card, right? But I did, so here we are. Right. 